Hello and welcome to Neil Bakes. It's the semi-final. This week is Patisserie Week, as usual. I think it's always been the semi final. Yeah. Patisserie Week, and we're going to be doing one of Prue's recipes Vertical Tarts. Yes, I don't know either. It's looks like a tube of pastry with a, with a mousse in it. Um, a tube of pastry, the mousse, a raspberry jelly, and some toppings. Interesting. Um, with all my ingredients here. Should, it says it's challenging, but we should be all right. I think the only difficulty is making sure the rings are perfect and getting the mousse inside it. Relax, get set, bake. Okay, so ingredients today. We've got plain flour, icing sugar, caster sugar, ground almonds, ground hazelnuts, salted butter, unsalted butter, raspberries, two eggs, dark chocolate, Hazelnut paste, double cream, gelatin, edible gold leaf, gold spray, and a bit of salt. Let's bake! Okay, the first step is to make the dough. And we've got our trusty food processor here, which is still working. It's not bro broken after the last few weeks. Now it says, for the pastry, so the flour, icing sugar, ground almond, and salt, and put it into the food processor and put it to breadcrumbs. Then we put one egg yolk, which we're gonna mix in with it, make sure, and then and it'll go into a dough, and turn it out, just knead it for a bit, and put it all together. We've got 100 grams of plain flour, 40 grams of icing sugar, 15 grams of ground almonds, got 50 grams of unsalted butter, which I've cubed up, and we'll just stick in of salt. Okay, we're just going to add the egg yolk now whilst it is on. Here we go, right. Nice dough ball. Okay, right. In the fridge, this goes for half an hour to fill up. And make some chocolate mousse. Okay, step two is make the chocolate mousse. Um, I've lined two tart rings with acetate um, over there. I'm going to put mousse into them in a bit. Um, so set the gelatin leaf in a bowl of cold water for five minutes to soften. So one gelatin leaf going in. There we go. Put it down. Let it soak. Uh, 100 grams of chocolate, 50 grams of praline paste um, in a large heat bowl. A bain marie is here, and then stir until the chocolate melted and remove from the heat. Now we top some. Hazelnut paste, which is should be alright. Oh my god! Oh my god! This smells amazing. Oh, it's nice. It's not very sweet. It's all it is is just hazelnut. Fifty grams of this. Now that's going on here. In my chocolate and hazelnut. Paste is melted. Just um, take off the heat. Yes. Use that as much moisture as I can. Make sure it's all nice and smooth. Oh my god, it's already gone so thick. Oh my god, look at this. Completely turned now, it's just solid. Okay, I need to leave this to cool slightly. Okay, we'll put in the egg yolk, mix it up. Mm. 
Okay, step four. In a small bowl, whisk the egg white with the sugar until stiff peaks form. And then I'm gonna fold it into the chocolate mixture. So, one egg white in here. Whisk it up until small bubbles form, then we'll put the sugar in. There we go, nice small bubbles now. Right, 25 grams of caster sugar in. Just loosen it a bit so it's easier to fold in. Mm. So you can't rush this job because you don't want to knock all the air out. You want to make it nice and light, light loose. These are what biscuits are going to go in. So I want to be the same thickness as these. Which is roughly just up to the end. So I've got an, like an eight centimetre ring and a nine centimetre ring. I've lined the side with acetate so it doesn't stick to it, and I've got an acetate bottom as well. So this acetate here, acetate around the rings. into the fridge to go for an hour. Chill and set. Time for the raspberry jelly. So it says, um, soak one and a half gelatin leaves in a bowl of cold water for five minutes to soften. So done, in they go, and they have to soften. I need 75 grams of raspberries. Blitz them into a puree. Interesting. Seeds up because you don't want seeds in your nice smooth jelly. 25 grams of caster sugar going in the pan. What oh, I? One, two. Okay, I need to boil this up on a medium heat. Okay, well, this is definitely boiling. Put them in. Them up to melt up the gelatin. Make sure it's all nice and melted, nice and smooth. The ramekin it goes. So, uh, well, nice little casserole dish. Right, I need to look, leave this to cool. So, just put it over there, and then it's going to go in the fridge to set. Okay, so we need to roll it out. Nine by twenty-eight. It needs to be two centimeters wide. Okay. Let's go to this. <gasps> God, get it in the tin. Out the best way to put it in, put it in, and then just spin the spin the tin around. So the pastry goes in. Da, 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 da. Oh, in the little tins. Just push the, the bottom edge together as well. Okay, in the freezer they go for 20 minutes to freeze. Harden up, and then we'll put it in the oven. Okay, whilst well, obviously not everything's in the freezer and in the fridge. We're just going to make a uh, hazelnut crumb, which is what the tarts are going to sit on, so they don't fall around. So, 15 grams of plain flour, 15 grams of ground roasted hazelnuts, 
25 grams of caster sugar and I've got 25 grams of salted butter which I've just cubed up and basically we just want to make uh, bread crumbs with them so we'll, like how you do normal stuff just mix up all the butter in with the flour mix up all the butter into them Okay, these rings have now set, nice and frozen. Right, so I'm going to blind bake these. These are going in at 160 fan for 10 minutes. I'm just melting some, I'm melting 100 grams of chocolate on a bain marie and it says to get some gold spray, spray it on the acetate and then we're going to put the chocolate over that and then leave it to set, cut, cut more smaller rings out with a piping nozzle, just make nice little discs of chocolate. I don't know how much I need to do on this, oh god. Oh great, that's just folded up, hasn't it? Good. Okay, this hazelnut crumb has been in the oven um, at 160 fan, same as the rings, for about 10 15 minutes. It's got a nice golden tinge to it, I'll leave that to cool. Okay, I've taken the pastry cases out of the rings. Oh, let's assemble. I'll take my mousses out of the uh, fridge. They look alright, they look really cool. Right, I'm just going to cut it in half. It's all right, doesn't it? Just needs to stick there. Perfect. There we go. Right, this bigger one needs cutting slightly. It needs ever so slightly cutting. So. Okay, so I managed to put the mousse inside the rings, but disaster, one of them snapped. It's very, very fragile. Never mind. I've got my raspberry jam here, or raspberry jelly, I guess. So let's see if we can cut it in. Put it in the rings. Uh, we need two centimeter strips. Look at this, jelly strips. Oh my god. We'll put three on the plate and we'll just eat the other one that we made. <gasps> Amazing. These don't break. This is so fiddly. It's just going to collapse on itself. We've got three. I'll just eat that one. It's a um, deconstructed vertical tart. We'll call it that. Okay, the final step. Got 100 millilitres. Well, I'll put 100 millilitres of double cream in here. Push this up to soft peaks. is nearly done. Now I've just got some gold leaf to put on. So I've got two raspberries on and a little golden disc. Pretty good. 
I've got a big slab of discs left. I'll get some gold lay. Just have some somewhere. How many sheets did you get? Two sheets. Oh, maybe I've used it all. Oh, that's so annoying. Damn it. That's so annoying. I've used it all. Damn. Oh well. We're done then. We're done. And here's the one that broke earlier on. Okay, so <clears throat> we are finished. I made my four, three and a half vertical darts. These three, pretty good. This one, I'll eat this one. We'll keep these one for display purposes. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. I've died and gone to heaven. Oh my god. That is the best thing I've had to eat this year. Jesus Christ, that is good. This is really nice. Chocolate, hazelnutty. Oh my god. So sweet. Darkness of this raspberry jelly. Mmm. Oh, it's got a really nice flavour. Pastry's nice and buttery as well. Nice and short. Mmm. Oh my god. This tastes, this tastes amazing. It is literally, this is the best thing I've had this year to eat. Vertical tarts. Nailed it. So that's it for Patisserie Week. Next week, it's the final. Who's going to win? Mmm. Oh well, wow. I'm gonna probably eat all this because this is amazing. I'll see you next week. Bye bye.